Okay, students, welcome to Investigation 7.2, Part 1. You should have a method that looks like this to follow through, uh, to take a look at how uh, wind moves across our globe. So everyone's going to have a plastic globe, um, and you're going to have a vis-a-vis -vis marker. You want to make sure it's this kind of marker because this one will wash right off. Um, maybe blue won't be the color you'll use just because we have a blue globe. You may have a white globe. Um, we'll see what happens. So um, the first direction says to find New York. So New York is on the east coast of the United States. And if you don't know where that is, ask a colleague. I'm sure someone will find it. And that's to just get us orientated to spinning the globe in the correct way. Uh, because it does matter what direction you're going in. So you're going to look at, hold it at eye level. If you want to tilt it, you're certainly welcome to tilt it, either summer or winter. Uh, you learned about that in lesson five. And you're going to rotate it towards California. And this is the rotation you're going to use the entire time, just rotating it like that. So once you've got the New York, you're going to see New York first, then you're going to see California, and keep rotating it in this direction. As you do this, one of your classmates will, will kind of look at the top and see, is it going clockwise or counterclockwise? They'll look at the South Pole and do the same. After you have done that and answered those questions, we're going to start to, to draw a line and see what happens. So it's going to ask you to start number five. It says, or number six, well, one person continues to rotate the globe steadily from left to right. The other slowly tries to draw a line, a straight line from 30 degrees north latitude to the equator. So when I was looking at my globe here. I found the equator, but I couldn't find where it said 30 degrees. So what I'm going to do uh, instead is just once you find the equator, and the equator on my globe says equator, and it has um, all of the um, latitude, longitude, longitude lines uh, there, and those are let, numbered. But what I noticed is we can just go and count three lines up. That'll be 30 degrees. It ends up, if you're looking at the United States, um, 30 degrees ends up going through Florida. So you're going to start there. And what's happening there is that cold air is sinking towards the equator. So it's going to go straight down towards the equator. So you're going to draw a line going down to the equator while the globe is being spun. Okay. After you do that, you're going to draw a line from that same 30 degrees north because that warm water from the equator is going to, that warm air is going to go north. So the warm air from 30 degrees is going to go north, and we're going to see what happens there. And then you're going to record your data uh, on your sheet. Uh, if you have any questions, ask your teacher. Thank you.